everybody. I hope you're doing well. It is a gorgeous day um, and I'm just heading off to the DIY hardware store um, because today is a upcycle day. Um, I have got an old wardrobe that I'm planning on upcycling. Um, so I'll show you that when I get back, but I've just got to pick up a few bits and then get started. Back from the, I don't know what to call it, like one of those little hardware uh, decorating shops, usually a locksmith as well. Oh god, I just heard a sound that really freaked me out. I thought the wardrobe was falling down. Anyway, talking of the wardrobe, let me show you what we're dealing with. So my mum has actually taken it all apart, which I think is a good thing, because um, I think it's gonna make it a lot easier. I'll put a picture up of what this looks like when it's put together. So it's one of the old vintage stag wardrobes. Um, I got it from my nans originally. And this is like the front door sort of thing. So what I'm planning on doing, I'm not a fan of this really dark varnish. So my first task of the day is gonna be to strip it, strip all of the varnish off, which I'm a little bit nervous to do because I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I got this varnish stripper um, from B&Q yesterday. So I guess I just kind of paint it on, leave it for 15 or 20 minutes and then scrape it off. This is the bottom. So with the top and the bottom, I think this is the top. I don't know, I'm gonna have to probably get someone to help me put this back together. And also I should probably figure out what goes where before I start painting and stripping things. But I'm gonna strip it all anyway. Um, what I wanna do is keep the bottom and the top wood and paint the doors um, a really nice navy blue. That is the plan. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start with the doors, um, just because if anything does go wrong with the paint stripper, then I'm gonna planning on painting over it anyway, so it shouldn't be too disastrous. So I'm gonna take that into the living room. Um, I've got like a little dust sheet on the floor, and then I'm gonna start stripping. <laughs> Here they are, it's the back of this one and the front of this one. I'm just about to take off these little handles. Marley is, getting really excited <laughs> so i'm going to start by taking the handles off then i'm going to go in with the varnish and i'll let you know how the first coat of varnish remover is what i meant to say um turns out wish me luck okay so the first layer is done um according to the instructions i have to wait for an hour and then apply a second coat so that is what I'll be doing. I do have somewhere to go a bit later and I've kind of left this a little bit late, but hopefully we'll be able to scrape off as much of this as possible before I can leave. I can't really leave in the middle of this sort of job, <laughs> so I really hope so. So this door over there is pretty much done, although I can't get into these because there's a little ridge here. I'm really struggling to get into the groove, so I think I'll take my steel wall um, which I picked up along with this scraper from the hardware store earlier, which is actually doing an amazing job. You can see it's literally just peeling straight off and it's quite satisfying when it starts rolling like that. Ah, nice. Um, looks kind of like poo. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm struggling to get into the kind of edges so I'll see how much I can get done with this big scraper because this is all I got. Maybe a smaller one would have been better, um, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna have to work with this. I'll let you know how I go. I mean, doesn't that just look <laughs> Like the most appealing thing you've ever seen. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell on camera. The majority of the varnish is off of this one, including the edges. I managed to figure out a way to angle the scraper 
in a way that gets it off ish and then you can see here I have not done the edges yet I've just put a bit more stripper around the edges so then I'm gonna go around scrape as much as possible off and then I'm gonna grab my medium grit steel wool that I picked up earlier and put some more stripper on it and then just kind of scrub um, I've looked at a few videos about this that seems to be the way that people are doing it and then you have to neutralize the varnish I'll be using water okay hello everybody I might be speaking a little bit differently today because I've just had Invisalign which I will be doing a video about in months to come um, but I'm starting again on the wardrobe I've done two doors although I might have to do another layer of varnish remover because this stuff is stubborn um, I'm, this is the side panel that I'm working on right now so I'm just gonna slather this varnish remover on and leave it to sit for an hour just like I did the last lot and then try and scrape as much of this as possible off but yeah as I said it's just like it's quite physical labour like <laughs> scraping all of this off I vastly under predicted underestimated the amount of varnish remover that I'm gonna need just ordered two more bottles off of Amazon because this little thing was barely enough to do two doors very roughly. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to keep going over um, the doors maybe one more time and then do the rest of the wardrobe with the new stuff that should be delivered today. So I should be able to get a fair amount done today. Um, I have some paint on the way and yeah so the main job is right now is just stripping you know you know. <laughs> hello i have just got up it's the next day from the last clips and i'm on to the last bit i think before painting which is just trying to sand down as much as possible um i'm in a bit of a rush now because i have people coming round and plans at the weekend and it's now Thursday so I really want to get the majority of this painted by tomorrow and the paint is being delivered tomorrow I think I hope hand sanding some of these corner bits because they're quite difficult to get to with the electric sander then I'll probably re-go over some of the other bits of wood um, and put some washi tape on there ready to paint the sections that I want to paint um, and kind of prepare everything for tomorrow and then I need to tidy my house because my god it is a mess. I think once this is done it's gonna look good and it's a really good quality piece of furniture much better than our current wardrobe uh, so I think it'll be worth it, but it is a lot of work. taking longer than expected no problem um varnish requires a lot to remove it and um i ended up doing some sand sanding just to get the last bits off which isn't ideal indoors um but you gotta do what you gotta do so i'll worry about the dust later yeah, I also need to kind of figure out what I'm doing, design-wise, because actually I quite like the look of the wood. Um, and I know people say it's a sin to paint good quality wood. So I'm not sure yet. 
I'll let you know. Okay, I've just received the paint. It's now Friday. Look at this colour. I don't know if you can... I think it's coming up a little bit lighter on camera, but it's lovely navy blue. And here we go. I'm going to do the first lick of paint. This, these are the sides that I'm going to start with. Ooh, foo, foo, foo. Oh my god, yeah, that's going to look insane. Alright, well I'm going to get these two painted. Um, I'll show you once they're both done. First coat done. going to let that dry. And then do another one or two coats, but I just love, love, love this colour. I'm obsessed. I'm actually really excited for how this is going to turn out. I really hope it's going to be as good as I hope it, as I can imagine it will be. <laughs> so the first layer of paint is dry and I just thought I would show you because you can get maybe a little bit of a better view of the colour. So I'm going to go in with the second coat now. So the painting on the sides of the wardrobes is done, it's still not completely dry, I've just kind of precariously balanced it while I move on, he's <laughs> such a mess, um, to the doors. Woohoo! So both of the doors are done. I am going to take off this tape um, now because I think you're supposed to take it off before it's fully dry. So I'll try and get a clip in of me doing that. I'll show you Marley. Yes, you're not allowed in. Go on out. Did you want my company? Oh, are you a needy cat? <laughs> Bringing him in. I can show you around, but you're not allowed down because I don't want you treading in paint. Oh, so needy. <laughs> Oh no, Marley! Right, we're gonna have to go out. And the wardrobe is done, it's complete. We put it up um, very last minute, just before my family arrived the next day for a meal because the house was a mess and it was very much in the way. Put it up at like 11 o'clock at night and it's now a couple of days later. I've waxed the wardrobe, which I'm a little bit disappointed with something about how it's turned out but let me just show you what our old wardrobe was so here is marley lovely um and he is modeling our old wardrobe so this was the old wardrobe um it's not bad but it is also not great it's very like flimsy material these drawers don't actually shut properly you have to like pull them up it's just you know what I mean it's just not very well made um, I will miss having some drawers at the bottom because you will soon see in our new wardrobe there is nothing of the sort but yeah if you can just picture this was the old ooh, the old wardrobe and we're gonna walk past this through this tiny little gap into my bedroom which is currently looking like this. And if we just pan around, here is the finished product amongst a load of mess over there and Marley over here. Let me show you this up close. Oh, 
I am so pleased with how this wardrobe is looking. Um, I love the wood and I'm so glad I kept the wood at the front and went for this design. As you can see. Um, so I've painted the sides. I have oiled the wood. If you want a little look inside, it is quite messy right now, but obviously it's got this rail inside and it's also got this little like arch support beam things. What I want to do is get maybe some drawers to go inside just to organize that a bit better. It closes with a magnetic, very satisfying uh, click, which is lovely. And you can see the other side. Now the thing that I was saying I'm a little bit disappointed with is, yeah, you can definitely see it's, it, you know, it works, but the wax has left quite a white, cast all over this beautiful blue which I'm not crazily upset about um, it makes it feel a little bit more rustic that's what I'm telling myself anyway it still looks lovely I just think that the wax that I used um, which was the rust olam wax I think um, has dulled the the navy a little bit um but overall i mean i'm really happy you can imagine this gray wardrobe here really happy with the room what we're planning on putting a um, big map on this wall we finally got some curtains i just love this whole area to be honest so the next stage for me of doing up this room the next upcycle project is gonna be these um again these were given to me by my nan they're absolutely fine nothing wrong with them but i think there's so much that could be done with them to make them look a whole lot better and more suited to the room so what i'm kind of thinking is i don't know if you can see but this is kind of like a shiny uh paint i'm gonna strip it <laughs> when i have a chance um see what the wood is like under there I probably it's probably not very nice wood so then i will either paint it this similar sort of color or paint some of it white and have like i was thinking of having like a upside down triangle here and a no that's the right way up triangle there and an upside down triangle here of blue like in the center like and then white all on the outside i don't know but that is the next project but yeah, overall, guys, I'm so happy with this wardrobe. Uh, it's going to last years and years and years. And even though the wax did dull the uh, dull the navy a little bit, I still think it looks gorgeous. So I'm very happy. I am going to be quite impressed if you got to the end of this video because I have a feeling it's going to be a long one. So if you did, leave me a comment down below saying we love navy. Um, it'd be interesting to see who got this far because I do go on <laughs> quite a lot but if you like this video and if you'd like to see more videos like this more upcycling videos more renovation -y sort of videos not that I can do much renovation stuff right now but I am planning on painting the kitchen um, give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you later.